tonight, it is the GWF years, and we'll be taking a look at 2092. Now, 2092 is actually quite the monumental year. Um, we see the emergence of chaos. Also, we get our very first Commissioner Carter. In Commissioner Carter, um, we also get Omega Omega as a manager, full-time manager, tag team in the Keepers of the Stone, Scourge, and Rogue. Also, in the booklet, um, we get what down the line we'll get more and more and more of is the GWF press conferences, and uh, they're all uh, being led by uh, Johnny Rocket. So Johnny Rocket makes his debut in the GWF, and uh, yeah, let's take a look at uh, 2092. A former Olympic athlete from Dimension X, Chaos is an egomaniac to end all egomaniacs. Striking up a friendship with Matador of M83, the pair heard a rumor about the Alpha Stone, and anyone that could find it and claim it would garner an extreme amount of power. After obtaining it and the Keepers of the Stone, Rogue and Scourge, the two that protected the stone from unworthy challengers, Chaos set his sights on a new challenge in the GWF. The main eventer in his very first year as a rookie takes on Star Warrior and then Thanos. Omega has officially retired from entering action and right away he begins his managerial career. He manages Star Warrior and the Defenders of the Galaxy. The GWF has officially elected their first ever commissioner in Zachary Carter. Born and raised on Earth, Carter has a background in pro wrestling that dates back to his great grandfather. The former Conrad Terror stepped into Doomsayer's newest invention, the Trans Revolver, giving it a changed alien more powerful than ever. He feuds in the single division versus Lance Atlas and as a special War Games tag team partner to Thanos, calling themselves Original Sin. What a stunner came down at the press conferences that year as Darkos would enter the singles and tag team division, announcing the real mass assassins and manager, the ultra-rich tabloid grabber Magnus Goldby. Everyone was fooled, even his own wrestlers, namely Whiplash and Splatter. How will they answer to this underhanded lie? Darkos feuds with Pulsar Prime and tags with Death Mask as the team known as Shocker. The ultra-rich businessman has conquered nearly everything he set his mind to. And now with the mass assassins red hot, Colby takes over as the real manager of the team. The three-year conspiracy from 2089 through 2091 has been complete. But how will his new venture fare for him? Shame of Pit Viper is no more. Now the man calling himself Dragon Master removes his mask and reveals to the cosmos for the first time his true self again. Bearing the scars from the vicious incident that took place late in 2086, now Master reunites with Pulsar Prime as Titan Express and feuds with Shocker. Rogue and Scourge team as the Keepers and challenge the Greek gods and the cosmic forces. Can they prove themselves a premier tag team in an already stacked division? Make way for GWS very first undercard bum, Ham and Egger, Kurt Jerker. Well, you get the idea. Ursa Major. This is a youngster born from Ursa Major. He hopes to win at least one match this year, but it's fun to dream, isn't it? Alright, so for the top three uh, wrestlers and or uh, managers, whatever, in this edition of 2092, number one, hey, it's gotta be Chaos. Chaos is, is the man, and uh, he really uh, uh, tries to seize power from Thanos and Star Warrior. Um, he's a big threat, obviously, uh, and very huge in the GWF mythology, uh, so he's gotta be number one. Uh, number two goes to Dragon Master. Um, it's somewhat of an improvement over his uh, Pit Viper card. Um, awesome, awesome artwork. Kind of looks like you know, the Rookie of the Dragon's team boat, which, hey, that's always good, right? And for a number three pick, it's kind of tough because I really like Dark Ghost's card, you know, his final curtain finisher. Uh, we finally get to see him in a wrestling uh, persona, so I actually really like Dark Ghost, but. Um, Probably have to give it up to to Dreadnought. Obviously, uh, this is uh, Comrade Terror's major upgrade. Well, one of his major ones, right? Um, he's really trying to uh, kind of stand out and break out um, from uh, from his slump, if you will. Uh, just trying to get over the hump, right? So he gets trains revolved from Doomsayer, and it's quite an impressive card. So number three goes to the Dreadnought, with an honorable mention to Dark.
Next time, the Epic World Games concludes with a new hero to lead the way. And can Chaos and Thanos deal with this explosive new threat?